maybe when I finish uh, looking at this documentation, I will have more questions. Uh, but now I... Hello? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Can you? Uh, can you hear me? Uh, okay. About uh, uh, document uh, post-DTA configuration, the biggest document. Mm -hmm. Can you open uh, this document? Sure. This yes, this one. Yes, this one. Uh, scroll down, uh, maybe a second or third slide. Uh, not this. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Um, some some higher, please. Yeah, this one. Standard uh, value. Standard value. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, higher, higher, please. Uh, General setting. Yes, general settings. I don't remember we discussed this uh, screenshot mm -hmm. and uh, this values. Will we do it later or maybe we miss this? No, I'm just, uh, uh, I'm sure open the login to the system and I'll show you this part, okay? Okay, okay. And uh, this uh, next slide about uh, general values. Uh, first, first we cover this. Uh, then we'll go to next your next query. Okay. 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 okay so uh, you know, uh, P code is uh, pause DW ING. Here we configure like under general setting we define a profile Y zero zero one here. If you uh, remember here, I uh, mentioned like um, you can uh, check your che uh, you can check your standard check profile, or you can use uh, Z check profile to check the master data check. But this is only not the uh, check profile like master data checks configuration. You have to go back, and you have to define general setting because. Here, um, general setting, uh, like um, you have to mention check using check profile or battery, uh, battery implementation in processing uh, this two checkbox you need to check. For only any, pro here we mention only one profile. So uh, if you are using any other profile, then you have to also men mention for that. Here we forgot to mention that one. If you, uh, this one, just mention this one. What is this? Two uh, checkbox. Two checkbox here is this is uh, like a check using check profile. Like, like you um, instruct the system to check master data using check profile, whatever in uh, back. Like if you go back to the standard uh, general setting here, we mention our check profile, this one. And now in next step, uh, when you select the checkbox, you instruct system, check using check profile. This is for master data check. Whatever you may uh, select these two checkbox, this is for, first checkbox is for master data check. And the uh, second checkbox is for your, you can say, um, uh, uh, BAPI processing immediately, like uh, whenever uh, your uh, car system receive uh, uh, your cause DTA receive any IDOC from P POI, it will be processed immediately and it will be posted into your workbench so that you can uh, push it into ECC system as per your requirement, uh, whether it is, uh, you can say, immediate or whatever, the collective, whatever. But this is uh, like you instruct the system to process BAPI immediately. Here, BAPI means whatever PI push the inbound IDOC. Uh, that uh, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, sound is not very good. Uh, I missed a few words. Um, okay. can, can you repeat you the last sentence? Uh, yes, can I can hear you, but uh, sometimes sometimes I miss uh, yeah, yeah, the sound. Yeah. So uh, here, um, this one checkbox, checks using check profile is for your uh, master data checks, like uh, whatever you replicate into your HANA, okay? Now, second checkbox is VAPI immediately processing. This is for 
whatever pi pushed into your car system the transaction it will be posted immediately into your car uh, pause detail workbench you can see so this two check box you need to check and uh, what about the uh, field master data filter um uh, should it be blank or uh, we should put it's some values yeah. there yeah. if you, uh, here you are going to use a um, check from uh, hana studio so you don't need to check here anything or if you are going to use bibw master data then you can use this one uh, 001 bw so it's uh, doesn't matter here like you are going to choose uh, 001 or you leave it as blank it doesn't matter because system in background system check will be happen from your hana views okay so uh, uh, if uh, if this uh, field is blank my master yeah. data will be checked uh, from hana views uh, right, right 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 uh -huh. and even if you are the um, check this one bibw from bw also your system master data checks will be checked from your uh, first one yes yes mm. uh, um, strange so uh, it doesn't matter what uh, value uh, will be here um, yeah uh, just i think yeah 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 system is uh, off let me check again okay so uh, what value are mentioned it doesn't matter it is basically from pause uh, for when you are using pause dm then it is mandatory to use uh, bw okay mm, lost connection let me check so this two check box uh, check for your uh master data checks can you uh, see this screen uh yes uh, I, i see the screen and uh, the value 0002 um the text is blank what does it mean i don't have any idea on this because it is <laughs> when we install the two is installed simultaneously so i don't ha have uh, this uh, two knowledge and this one uh, we using basically from pause dm uh, 001 but uh, this is for a standard coming so this two value for this two i don't have any information on that but this value if you are going to use pause dm then you have to choose this one but for card it optional you if you choose bw it doesn't matter because it coming all the master data checks happen into your uh, hana's uh, studio not in from bibw Uh, so uh, if i understand you correctly uh, if uh, i don't have uh, any uh, car system but i want to to use uh, post dm uh, i can mention right right you have to mention this one bw 01 w uh -huh. and uh, my master data will be checked uh, from bw uh, yes right 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 correct uh -huh. correct you uh -huh. okay will be... understood and uh, whatever field you can see uh, we prefer is whatever it is we can leave it as uh, like uh, whatever system uh, when we install this system whatever value we get we we'll, uh, don't uh, like uh, use like uh, it's fast or, or not or compress or without compress so um, we leave it as it is i think we already discussed this thing performance for performance we compress this one and uh, to uh, increase the performance of the system you can mention the package size so it's depend on your choice but we prefer as it is uh, like in config it is not in configuration part of uh, positively you can leave whatever it is but um, uh, here you can see in the down um if you are going to use short or over balancing like so you uh, already discussed short and over balancing in 20 rupees short or over this scenario if you are going to use then you have to check this uh, box uh, check then you are able to use um, short and over balancing and uh, another thing this is for tip queue entries and all this is for something tip is uh, like a queue entries this if you are further say display all tasks i don't know what all this because we generally don't do anything with this uh, check box and all on main configuration is uh, this two check box 
when you uncheck this uh, two check box then you can see a master data checks do not happen properly so you have to check this two check box and uh, if you are using uh, bibw you need to select this one uh, bw okay and one more thing this is sort okay, of thank you and if you are going to use short and overhead balancing then you have to uh, check this one so this is the main use of uh, here the general setting now uh, i think it is little clear for you uh, yes thank you uh, yeah. and uh, one more mm -hmm. uh, question um, can you show me is, yes this document uh, next slide about um, general values or something like that uh, standard values yes um, yeah, I don't remember. Standard. Did we discuss standard. it or not? Mm. Yeah, I, we all we just open this one and we again discuss it. Uh, just go back and go to go to standard values. What is this? This is uh, you can see. Um, yeah, we 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 not discuss. I think. Let me copy this one. Then we will discuss. Yeah, first we need to save like same as before. Five zero zero. This one. So this is like uh, you can say. Um, what is this one? This is whatever you can say like uh, sales movement type. What is that? One zero zero one. It is like prefer you prefer the system like one zero zero one for sales movement. Like uh, if any sales uh, transaction is in your system, then it will be starting with one zero zero one. Or one thousand, you can see this is all the standard value. How you differentiate different different transaction like sales? We generally work with sales movement, goods movement, and uh, you can see um, uh, financial movement. This one thirteen hundred. So how you you can see different all number are different different. So this is the standard value. How you differentiate the tra transaction like this is for sales movement, this is for financial movement, this is for goods movement. So uh, okay. one thousand. Yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, Can you? Deeply, maybe I, sh I I should reconnect because uh, sometimes the sound is absent. Mm. So see, I, uh, I'm also. Yeah, sure. Take your time. Reconnect, and I'm, I'm for my side. I also reconnected in. Maybe for my okay. side also. Okay. Some... okay. Um, hello. Yeah, so um, I'm just sharing my screen. So uh, can you see my screen properly? Yes, I see your screen now. Okay, fine. So uh, see whatever the value, like uh, 1001, uh, six, uh, like uh, 1301, 1501, these are the standard value to differentiate different, different uh, transaction. Like uh, 1000 uh, means sales. Uh, 1300 means uh, your um, financial 1500 means uh, starting with 1500 it means your goods movement so all these are standard value uh, whatever um, so, so that we can differentiate uh, between uh, sales good movements financial transaction and if you go back uh, you can see uh, in here like uh, in post transaction when we or uh, when we start with define task group here you can see um, not here back here i think um, uh, 
um, close me yeah post transaction here when we uh, work with different different transaction here you can see this one one digital one for sales and um, 1500 forms uh, goods movement um, let me scroll down here uh, to start with 1300 it means it is financial transactions whatever 1300 starting like a four five end whatever it is it is for starting with 13 it means financial and if you go back starting with 15 means goods movement uh, like 15 15 0 to 15 all these are goods movement so here in standard we mention system we indicate system like uh, this is for uh, sales 1001 so that we in future like when we configure for sales or different whatever in uh, we uh, configure in previous step so it will be clear for system like when we are talking about 1001 so we are talking about sales transaction okay uh, and uh, one more thing uh, yeah. About uh, first six uh, fields, uh, which are blank now, uh, should we uh, type there? Sorry, first first field will be blank. We don't, uh, water, or should we no, no, leave it? No. What should we do? No, no, no. Just for currency, we need uh, need to write the standard currency. Currency, uh, like whatever we uh, we are going to, we just need to check uh, into our uh, profile what we mention into profile that currency. You need to mention like EUR here we mention same currency you have to mention into standard value under standard value. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And uh, first five. Uh... Uh, as I, as I uh, understood, uh, this field, uh, these fields we are used when uh, uh, the same fields uh, in uh, in bought data are blank. So. Uh, right. Uh, system uh, replaces the blank values with these values. Um, am mm -hmm. I right or no? Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. For this particular standard values, our work is like speci specially with all this field because we want to specify different different transaction type. How system know? For that purpose, we have to differentiate transaction. We don't need to do anything with uh, this uh, field. Because uh, in SPRO, you can see there is a lot of configuration SAP provide. There is a lot of thing uh, they provide. But our focus is whatever our need, whatever uh, like um, step we follow uh, as per the configuration uh, or whatever the which is our need. So or mandatory, you can say. So we need to follow this one. So uh, you need to uh, this film. Uh, you have to blank uh, if you are going to use standard values, and you have to put this one. And that's why I prefer to use the standard value. What is to copy the standard and uh, mention into our uh, uh, program or uh, like whatever the profile. Uh, I prefer even uh, not only I even uh, like in car and posdm whatever we talk it is preferred to use the standard values because if you are going to use your own values then you have to change here also uh, like you have to go and you have to change here also each and everything you need to change here then next step you also have to change here so it's fine for you standard value else if there is any other requirement like uh, sales for sales you mention here um, standard values 1001 uh, uh, this one like starting with 1000 means sales now whatever there is a return you can use uh, like 1004 or anything uh, but return also under sales so you have to use uh, 1001 and for return you mention and under code like 2000 no you can't mention 2000 here uh, 2808 or whatever you can uh, mention because it is a requirement. Please, there is if there is another requirement, then you can use. But return is a mention in under sales transaction. 1001. When we configure return, then under that uh, return, we already know we have to mention uh, sales or goods movement or whatever. So uh, you have to mention that part also. Like here, I think if you remember. Uh, return with customer here you can see 2101 here we mentioned return here so you have to mention a code and in previous 
uh, this one uh, 2801 or whatever you are written here it is for um, uh, your you can create this one you don't need to do uh, follow the standard one but you can choose the standard one also there is no like uh, nobody can stop you to don't choose the uh, standard code so we prefer the standard values whatever sap provide so here we just copy the standard value and we put the standard value as per our okay. requirement okay. so okay um on on at <laughs> this moment uh, i don't have uh, questions um but i will uh, continue i will get through this documentation maybe next time i will have more questions take your time you can we will go go slowly that's uh, like uh, uh, to understand is for that uh, like you have to understand yourself each and everything you can raise query anything that's why i am going uh, go very slowly one by one uh yes uh, everyone needs like you no know, first uh, finish this everything finish as soon as possible two hours every day two hours but it's a little bit like uh, not good for i think so that's why i'm moving slow so i think it's uh, if you find very slow then you can push me to uh, glow, uh, go first uh, you can push me but uh, i think if you go slowly then it will be understand for you also you can um like um, you know, go through all the document and all then you can ask me if you have any query right okay uh, so um, let's uh, continue with today's topic yeah yeah so i'm just open a new so here uh, our uh, today uh, still now we are, we already uh, talk about positive we talk about multi channel and uh, we talk about uh, you can say um uh multi channel oh yeah inventory visibility this thing we already discussed now there is another thing uh, this is uh, like on self availability we generally call this osa osa algorithm what is that uh, on self this is uh, 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 forget about that this is like osa means on self availability what is that what is on self on self uh, sorry on self is nothing but like uh, how uh, store like self means not self it is in self store a particular uh, store uh, a particular product this product uh, available or not in a particular store uh, or self self means here a particular store so it is uh, uh, up, yeah so, uh, so uh, uh, i as i understood you correctly as this functionality on shelf availability is uh, um, only for uh, offline stores uh, not for uh, online sales yes no see whatever the store it is online it is offline whatever the stored data coming into your card system we generally analysis uh, about on this uh, store uh, if um, like offline store is uh, um, uh, connected with your card system then we can uh, check the availability of this offline store also but uh, if the online store is connected with, with your card then uh, we also check the availability now how we check we uh, talk about uh, think about multi channel we have different different channel here channels means place where the self return everything happen so you have you, your card system connected with um, web shopping as well as your uh, mobile shopping so now whenever data coming from your web coming from your store uh sorry mobile uh, whatever the data whatever the transaction is coming into your card system so what finally at the end of the week there is a transaction code you have to execute and it will calculate like uh, that product is available on store or not it will calculate on that way how system is calculate like if there is a um, like a, i uh, take an example it's a product abc is a product and uh, this uh, product product means article sold out on uh, last month okay uh, so um 
once more, please. ABC is a uh, some product uh, which yeah. was sold out uh, during the last month. Yes. Last month it was sold out. Sold out. How system will calculate? Yeah, last month it sold out. So you have a transaction last month like thirtieth. Uh, uh, um, uh, we can choose October. Okay. It sold out. Last sold out date was thirtieth October. Now. Uh, again, you receive a transaction. You means car system receives a transaction on 1st December. Transaction means uh, um, your sales transaction, whatever one by one I show you how it is posted. So this is transaction. 1st December it posted into your uh, car system like ABC product is sold out again in 1st December. Okay. And last month it was sold out. So system calculate the gap. System show you the gap. If there is a long gap, uh, more than three months, two months, so it will be uh, a system show you it's our uh, that product ABC product is in red status. Then you have to check onto your store, and you can um, like uh, fulfill the inventory, or you have to go with that inventory. But here system throw you a uh, like uh, a uh, red, uh, you can see light on ABC product. Like ABC product is in red status because it, it have a gap between near about um, two months, I think, near about two months. So if, if maybe it's more than three months, then it will be in green. If less than one month, it is in, uh, sorry, a red, a red in more than three months, uh, so gap, gap between first transaction and last transaction. And if uh, it's a uh, um, yellow status means it's in less than one month and a green means perfect. Uh, there is a um, product is in your store or self you can see. So you know, system generally give you this option. Now, according to this data, you can create your um, uh, mobile apps and also report and also uh, it's a very useful on sale capability into all data services. Uh, you can connect uh, all data services. I don't have working knowledge on that all data and all. So uh, um, there is some apps on all data. So from all data, you can see the detail of that product and you can check the inventory, uh, how it is lost or damaged the product. So you can uh, connect the all data with on sale capability and you can see the detail of that. So basically, in car system, you can't see anything. You just uh, execute the T code, and uh, long gap means uh, there is a uh, on self availability issue. Short gap means warning, and no gap means it's fine. Product is goes fine. So this is the use of on self availability. So for um, that, yeah. Um, so uh, if I understand you correctly, it uh, just calculates. Uh, uh, Gaps uh, between uh, between transaction sale of this product. Uh, uh, right. So uh, if the last sale uh, was uh, in the end of October, and mm -hmm. uh, the next sale was uh, in first December, for example, uh, the, uh, November is uh, a gap. Yes. Uh, right. So we right. have a warning. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a small gap, so we have a warning. If it, it is more than three months, so you uh, uh, check a alert like red. You uh, um, uh, like in ABC the product, and after that product or before the product, you can see a light red light, uh, red red color light. Red color means it is in uh, alert mode. You need to check the inventory. Uh -huh. Okay, okay so, understood. The general idea is understood. <laughs> yeah, it's a very general idea, you can say, but uh, in real time, uh, we have to go uh, different, different steps for this. But in uh, car system, uh, you just need to configure, a, uh, you can see, a profile, on ability profile. And uh, after uh, executing, like, uh, let me show the T code. There is a T code, um, OSHA dispatch. Yeah, this is the T code. Okay, so here you can see um, 
process step means uh, when we open is it is intra week means per week at the end of the week you have to execute this uh, like a uh, t code and you can get the detail of per week and then um, estimation like per month then monitoring then analysis after an analysis you can see the um, detail of the green or red light or anything but here you can see one by one step you have to execute one by one and one more thing data must be flawless like it's not uh, like uh, you just create one data for uh, one week and then you are going to use osa it will not possible data will be flawless so whatever any store or web channel you are going to use at least um, proper three month data will be there so that you can calculate the uh, mismatch and all how system will give you uh, the detail like there is a lack of transaction so um, uh, first you need to execute part week then month then monitoring then and when analysis first you can um, analysis like it's grade or warning or anything but um, data there must be there you need to create at least three month data so that system will show you proper transaction uh, and also one more thing here this is the step first one by one you need to uh, configure I will try to create uh, some dummy data then uh, for the some month so that it will be easy for you to uh, understand. And here also uh, configuration. Here we will go going to configure. Uh, I will show you the configuration part uh, in um, here in car system. And then the start date. Here we generally we prefer to mention the date. Else what happened? Uh, it will uh, take the whole date, like uh, last year to this one, and it will take a lot of time. So it's preferable to take the start date and transaction end date. So it's minimum three months. So it will be, then you have to execute the analysis. If uh, it's one week, then you have to give, give the uh, start date and end date of this transaction. So first, remember, we have to infra -week pattern, the estimation, then monitoring, then analysis. This way, uh, we generally execute OSA uh, T code so that we get uh, proper alert. Uh, excuse me. Uh, explain, please. Yeah. What is intra-week pattern? What What is it? <laughs> intra-week pattern means uh, per week uh, you have to execute like uh, uh, if there is any transaction like for ABC uh, in this week if there is no transaction for this product so it is a baseless like you are going to use abc for a product for uh, three months okay so you have to calculate like uh, per week it is uh, like uh, instruction by uh, you can see uh, say standard standard new instruction else uh, one more thing we also um, directly go to the analysis part so after uh, monitoring or estimation Leave it for one week. You can uh, execute the estimation or monitoring. Then you can execute the analysis part also. So it depends on your requirement. It's for three months, but at least three months data is there. And here, it's uh, here you can see this is the um, uh, what is the merchandise category sub department. Here is the merchandise category. Okay. So here, if you f four. Oh, here, if you check this one, uh, sub department option here, whatever, it is the master data, merchandise category, uh, the sub department, okay? And, uh, it, yeah. I'm not very clear. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure I understand uh, uh, this algorithm. Uh, can you show me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, but for that I need you know, to. Settings for uh, appropriate data. Yeah, yeah. For that I know need to create for three month data. But uh, before that, we uh, going to data. We need. Uh, we have to configure. Then one by one, we can uh, execute the step. Or like intra week, weekly, or monthly, or uh, then analysis. Analysis like after analysis, you will get the detail of the data. And for each and everything. Um, 
like uh, there is a table that table contain the data like for intra week it will contain per week per month there is a table also it will contain the per month data okay so it will uh, depend on your requirement but uh, generally we uh, when we are in real time we are going with on sell availability we generally um, you know, like uh, pay for three month data at least in system then we uh, execute this transfer code and then analysis mode we analysis the uh, like uh, lack of uh, lack means like uh, uh, this product which product is available or not then uh, in the message uh, you can see the detail of that product it is uh, maintain on that or not you can see that part also so first uh, we will go with configuration and one more thing here you, uh, i would like to share the sub department is merchandise category and it is the standard one standard mean this is the master data and when we f4 you can see this master data coming from uh, your uh, hana system so this master data some issue with that master data merchandise category so that's why it's not showing you it's giving dumb uh, in f4 but this is for merchandise category and for each and every um, article or group of article there's a different for merchandise category and you have to choose this one then that type of uh, article you can uh, analysis here and whatever f4 here it is coming from your background if you don't choose it then it will show you all the article whatever uh, stored into maybe it's uh, 1 lakh or 2 lakh whatever the article it will show you okay so first first we need to go i uh, forget i i know you confused about why we execute uh, weekly then again monthly then we analysis uh, why we do that uh, it's basically with uh, if you are going with uh, standard flow so standard flow talking about the first you can uh, at the end of every week you can execute uh, this um, on self availability but forget about weekly everything we prefer a uh, three month value and whatever three month means uh, see uh, if you uh, every week you are going to execute then it will be um, date will be different right i am execute uh, this on saturday next saturday date will be different so at the end of week uh, you have to execute and this is for here you have to give whatever interview pattern you have to give the date of start date end date and you have to execute this one per week you are going to execute three month data okay so uh, after per uh, per yeah and we uh, like in real time we paper when uh, system is uh, like a um, uh, work like a weekend or when all story is closed like it take lot of time so that's why we prefer to like uh, end up a uh, uh, weekday weekend so that uh, there is no uh, issue on real time flows and all so that's why we prefer this one okay so if you go back before going into that system first mandatory thing remember uh, three month data will be there so that uh, system will calculate uh, and one more thing uh, properly me, uh, uh, repeat please uh, the last phrase because uh, the sound is not very good yes. mm. sure sure uh, like uh, for your um, if you are going to implement osa algorithm first is like uh, configure is in place like you have to create a profile second is uh, your post dta and multi channel whatever is uh, this is first option like uh, post dta multi channel whatever is uh, configure and data flow started properly from post car and ecc everything i'm writing here so that it will be easy for you right so first is post dta Uh, first day is always first yes <laughs> yes it is mandatory actually yes, because yes. without this this, uh, this thing we can't uh, collect or uh, like a uh, car system doesn't contain any data with the, without post dta configuration so you need to yes, like, yes. Uh, configure post dta properly post dta working properly and also uh, uh, you can say data flow started started means uh, like uh, from your uh, post to car to ecc have flow started 
number three option is at least three month data in your in car system uh, number four is uh, master data also obviously master data without master data replication you are not going to use properly pause dta and all multi channel and all so you have to configure uh, like uh, this three option is mandatory and at least three month data in your card system three month uh, sales data so that you can um, execute the lack of tra transaction you can system can find the lack of transaction okay so here this three is mandatory uh, to going OSA algorithm now uh, and one more thing i already first day one i am talking about it pause it is very important here uh, some uh, like uh, I'm giving my example like uh, some uh, like organization don't like uh, don't want to implement any other module except pause DT and multi channel. Uh, someone is only happy with pause DT, sorry pause DT, uh, pause DT, not pause DT, pause DT. So it's a very useful mod module because if your pause DT is in place properly, data flow started and everything fine. In future, you are able to configure. You are able to use your other module also so it's like um, you can say it's a mandatory module pause dta you have idea about pause dta uh, excuse me you have idea about pause dm2 um no <laughs> um. now 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 your answer is yes because pause dm is uh. DT is the plus version of pause DM. Okay, so upgraded version. So you should answer if you ask if anyone asks you, you should answer yes. Because um, whatever configuration you you I'm showing you uh, in pause DTA, it's the same like pause DM. Something is plus, like which one is plus? If you are going to use this module, then you have to configure it here. If you uh, sorry. Here you can see now we're talking about on self ability. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, it is the primary thing. I think it's clear for you. Like uh, it's a uh, like find out the lack of uh, product in a particular store or uh, anything. Right. Right. It is the basic of on self ability. Now using that on self uh, algorithm, you can create uh anything like any o data so using audit services i i have some uh, like uh, real time videos on that uh, o data services using on self ability so uh, like um, how it's used so it's a very good you can see products properly show here it is, there is any lack you can go and check lack means uh, inventory is missing you can update this inventory so basically this is the use but your work is uh, on self ability configuration here and check system will check the data like lack of data lack of product uh, or article available is not into your store system will check that one so the first uh, you need to do here you can see you can use the standard one also or you can configure your own own whatever your preference you can go uh, just uh, one minute so that here i think this is the t code uh, if you uh, see uh, for yeah from f4 here you can see this is the standard one you can use the standard default configuration also uh, it's a, uh, this configuration like a profile whatever we configure for pause dta we create a profile it's same like a, you can say a profile sap default is a profile type you can copy this one and you can mention your z osa profile whatever you your preference but we generally prefer like a, uh, to uh, choose the standard uh, one and copy the standard into our Z configuration. Now, uh, whatever field here you can see, this is for uh, like um, uh, provide by SAP, and we will discuss one by one. First of all, I need to F1 each and everything. And uh, one more thing, this one like promotion price discount. 
if you want like uh, for each and every transaction uh, when you execute uh, this t code like this one it will be uh, when uh, your sales transaction coming in uh, show into here like in on sale probability this option like price promotion discount everything will be uh, show under this uh, like uh, on sale probability is depend on your choice because uh, we generally um, don't go with this option we just uh, go with uh, um, lack of sales between first transaction and last transaction but if there is some requirement like you want to uh, see the promotion price and discount for <coughs> each and every article uh, it will also uh, possible for that for that you need to check and uncheck this one and one more thing for the reporting purpose sometimes is required so um, uh, like uh, if you are going to use uh, some report and all or some you going to use some uh, mobile apps you can create mobile apps also using o data and all so uh, here all these are uh, sometimes requirement because uh, store managers or whatever the person they wants to see or the uh, higher level manager they wants to see the promotion price everything for each and every article so that's why uh, it's the re depend on requirement but here uh, if you choose then you can see that uh, field if you don't then you can't see this one now uh, what is granularity if you open then we need to check granularity means the uh, intra oh, okay intra week pattern like uh, on sale probability algorithm divide the number of seconds in a week by this value Per week, uh, this value will be divided. Uh, Inter week pattern, whatever you are going to use per week, then time. How time is divided? So you have to choose this one. When you choose uh, this one, then it will be divided by this value. The value of this field determine the number of output records for the inter week pattern step, which can be no greater than the granularity values plus one. Here you can see the granularity value. Here uh, there is an option granularity value. Let me check. Um, there is an option also some granularity values. Yeah, this one. So it is plus the uh, current values. You need to check this one also. We prefer default value 2000. Uh, this value uh, we select this one. Uh, we don't choose the 3000 or or any other one no we only choose 2000 whatever system will provide so this is the granularity level uh, for interview pattern for calculation the time second uh, everything for this week so we need uh, 2000 as a granularity level uh, now what is random seed Specified the speed as a numeric value for the initial setup for um, gener generating random numbers that are used for the interweek pattern calculation. With any values not equal to zero that stayed unchanged for several runs, the set of gen gen generated random numbers is identical for these runs. Value range zero to this one integer. If this value is zero, the set seed is derived from the system time. This means that the set of generation random numbers can, uh, so whatever this one, uh, we don't use a random seed and all, we use granularity level and it is calculate the second time of our V and also we prefer 2000. And random seed, we choose nothing choose as it is blank. So uh, we don't know what is this and all this, whatever you can see, this is for like uh, when you execute this uh, on sale probability, it is calculated for per week when we calculate it, then like how system I told you like a uh, gap between two transactions. So it's all depend on this one. So when we finally execute this one, uh, this transaction, then it will be uh, fulfilled uh, like uh, it will be clear. Uh, view it will be give us a clear picture how it's run how it looks like but for that we need to create some uh, random values for that i will create some values for that so that we will uh, go with this um, we can go with on self ability but for this tape uh, whatever this provide you can see boost threshold uh, transaction threshold whatever this one this is the standard value 
and um, uh, you can f1 each and every field and you can um, see like uh, check what is the detail of this one even i'm also not sure each and everything <clears throat> because i need to f1 each and everything because uh, we prefer this one standard one and um, nothing we need to check anything just this one is optional it is based on your requirement uh, you want to uh, see this price promotion or discount into your uh, like on self average not so you need to depend on this requirement you need to check check this check box else all this is standard and uh, you need to check uh, like uh, one by one like uh, f1 you, you you can use f1 you need to check one by one else whatever you can say you just copy and save into a g and configuration part is nothing else now you are able to use this um, you can see uh, profile here here if you are going to use here you can see this let me check it save or not so here it's mandatory field yeah here you can see now osa is uh, in your default configuration you need to change the change the description also because it's not default it's a uh, custom you created this one so now if uh, there is a, any uh, system is not defined okay we have to check this one what is this so uh, if there is any uh, three month transaction is there then you can see um you can see the detail of the like uh, which is uh, which article is in um under on self ability or not you can see this uh, detail also and when you uh, display the log you can see the log detail also per date whatever date you are giving so this is the use this is the your uh, as a car uh, configuration if you are going to use this three string is mandatory check system at at least three months then you can do one by one weekly monthly and um, uh, whatever your requirement um, or after three months you can execute only after three months also so uh, so basically we prefer every week end of week we execute osa algorithm so it will be give you the uh, show you the detail of lack of store, article per store so this is the use of uh, you can see osa algorithm and i will create some transaction here and i will show you the data also here because without data I, even i can see some issue with this one some uh, logical system not found i need to check this one also what is this because here uh, what is the logical system your own logical system has not been defined for the client most of the cannot be used no links maybe uh, this system whatever the system name it will be not mentioned here under sale transaction uh, whatever the systems uh, cld cld system may be not use let me check so i will check uh, all this thing uh cld let me check cld mention or not no this is not mentioned so i need to mention the cld uh, cld 100 cld clnt 100 um car let me check again No, it's not that part. Client maintenance. Okay, okay. Here, client maintenance. We need to maintain the client also. Let me check. Car and hybrids. Yes, maintain client is one thousand is maintained, but uh, I'm not sure. This is because it is for car and hybrids. Car client. City. Uh, 1000 CLD. Let me increase. Oh, all these details we need to provide. So I need to check with the best system because I don't have uh, like CT, which CT I have to. Let me check. 
car uh, city rd logical system i think uh, crd this one oh this is already maintained let me check uh, this one yes it is perfect logical system you need to check maybe this one mm. because they are generally this type of issue not sure this is this is basically it's a testing client that's why um, sometimes show you this type of issue so see now it's execute now i think it will give down the let let me check because it take too much time so uh, i will make some data at least uh, for a uh, 3 to 4 month data i will manually create here and uh, i'll show you this portion also how it's like um, uh working how it looks like how you how you have to uh, like uh, uh, each and every step process step if see there is it's execute fine because no mi missing stored data no data exists here this two is uh, showing you here because yeah because you don't have any data that's why it's in uh, uh, you can see red status uh, if you me, have can, yeah, uh, yeah. can can you repeat the last sentence uh, here no data is fine like uh, if you give any here we push it as a blank start date and end date okay so when you execute it so nothing is here no data exists for selection It means we have some error some missing thing is in our selection in our selection selections means uh -huh. no data is here i told I you like at, yeah i told you at least 3 month continuous flow data must be there at least 3 months so that we will be um uh, calculate uh, system will be able to calculate so i will i will try to create some data and um, missing stored data you can see that uh, all system give you a properly indication like stored data is missing no data exists for selection like for our selection no data is here so at least continuously three month data will be there then you will uh, execute we will um we can get the detail of here if there is any data then it will be in green status and you can see like uh, that uh, 2 200 or uh, 400 or whatever that data will be, is there now your is your step is analysis or monitoring okay you can directly go to analysis step and you can execute then you can uh, see the message like uh, abc is in your uh, with red status that it is in uh, lack of inventory data is there for your abc article you can see the detail information here or from logs or from table there is some table three table i will show you that one also so for for this one you also can see the detail of uh, on self availability analysis so this is the step so i will show you this step after creating some data because the hair is uh, blank that's why it doesn't show some data uh, because uh, there are some data maybe they clean uh, all this thing that's why okay uh, okay uh, uh, will you do it uh, to our uh, next session uh, or maybe yes yes, yes yeah because session, okay. uh, one more thing the next to next session or next session or next session because before going into uh, this uh, detail um, everything i have uh, i got the access of ecc okay i just uh, want to share him something i got the access of ecc and what is that ecc i got the access of retail uh, um, system and for ddf module i told you for ddf module there is some lot of configuration into ecc system okay yes so yes so we have to do the yeah so it's a maybe they provide me for one week uh, system access so uh, just uh, uh, 30 minute or you can say 10 minute before they message me the system detail so uh, i think um, before going into on self availability because uh, i will if, if i will get time i will creating data 
but next session we will start on, on working on human data foundation okay because it's a, a limitation time access uh, system access so that uh, whenever the uh, on cell availability is in, in is our work we are not dependent on any other person but for demand data we are dependent on ecc because i need to show you a lot of configuration in ecc system so i will first go with that one but meanwhile if i um, able to some data today or tomorrow um, uh, i will show you next session and then we will start on uh, demand data foundation okay Uh, will we need to, to perform some configuration on ECC system for the ref out functionality? Mm, am I right? Right, 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 right. First, we'll oh. uh, configure this one. Okay, then we, we can uh, side by side. When I get time, I will create some data and I will show you. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay. I, uh, okay. I, I'm, okay. And, uh, uh, I'm continue uh, uh, looking through the documentation and if I have uh, any. Uh, other questions, uh, sure. I will ask you sure. next time. Sure, sure. You can go through this documentation and you can have any query, you can ask me anytime. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, so see you in uh, next session with uh, DDF uh, module. And meanwhile, if we are uh, able to find tomorrow any data, uh, able to find any time to create data, then I will show you this one. Else, uh, we have a time, we can show you any time on self ability with data. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, then see you next session. Okay. Okay, goodbye. Bye.